went in and found five legally registered guns in a safe. No huge weapons cache that the FBI informant who was embedded in there said that he had. And there were no homes out of the properties that he owned that were rigged to blow up. You know, it wasn't this huge elaborate scheme that the FBI made it out to be. You know, they just wanted to go after a guy who was a prepper who wants to preach and, you know, a friendly neighbor guy and demonize this man. This is the new normal. I mean, in, in a sense, when, you know, you mentioned Kwasi Nafis, for example, the man who um, tried to detonate a bomb at the Federal Reserve Building. You know, here was a guy who had nothing. He never had access to any weapons. He never had any contact with Al-Qaeda or a terrorist organization. It was actually an undercover agent who provided everything he needed, provided the bomb, provided the transportation, provided the money, and that allowed him to commit this crime. What we're seeing more and more in these sting operations is people who are on the fringes, who are desperate, sometimes mentally ill, and they're the ones being, being caught uh, in these sting operations. Well, as you can see, the FBI obviously doesn't have our best interests in mind at all. You know, they have funded almost every single domestic terrorist incident in America. Underwear bomber, 93 at the Twin Towers or the World Trade Center when the car bomb went in and blew up and killed some people and injured a lot more. They have a history of taking these people and taking their simple, small idea that was never gonna turn into anything and then give them the money and the weapons to pull it off. Globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. Today I'd like to talk about the war on women. You've experienced and heard about the benefits of super male vitality. Now, the new formula has arrived. Introducing the new super female vitality. I have specifically designed this formula to help the body naturally regulate itself without the use of artificial hormones. Key ingredients chosen from the highest quality sources. Each of these ingredients works synergistically with the female body in order to maximize overall vitality. You've heard the reviews and the feedback on how the original super male vitality has revitalized relationships. Now, both the man and the woman can have the revitalization in their own bodies with super male vitality and super female vitality. Secure your super female vitality today from our limited stock at InfoWarsLife.com. Welcome back to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Rob Dew. We are joined by Kit Daniels, one of our writers slash reporters who just recently got back from the South Texas border and he's going to describe a myriad of things that should really get you concerned about what's going on down there. And it's not about a border crisis. This is literally a border stand down. We are let, the Border Patrol is letting people just flood in. They're paying for them uh, illegals to be bused to different areas. They're flying plane loads to Boston. It has really gotten out of control. And with that, we turn to our reporter slash writer, Kit Daniels. Kit, how are you doing today? Good, good. So tell us, what did you see down at the border? Well, my observation about the border is that we don't have one anymore. You'd think that the Brownsville, Texas, which is a border city in South Texas, would have would be crawling with Border Patrol agents right now, but that wasn't the case at all. When we arrived down there, we first stopped in downtown Brownsville near the International Bridge, and no exaggeration, there's hardly any Border Patrol agents stationed. We hardly saw any trucks, and we stayed there for about maybe a little bit over an hour, and yet we only saw maybe one Border Patrol truck drive by every like 15 minutes or so. 
And this is a planned invasion too. Uh, we've got the Fed biz ops where they're looking to transport at least 60,000 children that just came out in January. And uh, Jay Johnson um, it was, was coming down to the border to talk. He stopped in San Antonio. We sent our reporters there and they ran, they scattered. They were afraid to just answer basic questions. Like if you knew about this, why are you acting like you didn't know about it? And it's a, a big crisis when it's not a crisis. It's something you guys planned from the beginning. What's key to understand is that our immigration laws have been basically been reduced to an honor system. We have border patrol that are going to bus stations in the Rio Grande Valley of South Texas, get buying uh, immigrants bus vouchers or bus tickets saying, hey, you can go anywhere in the country just to your families or friends who probably are illegal as well. So taxpayers are subsidizing the transportation, the importation of illegals into America. And the Border Patrol is, and not just the Border Patrol, but the Obama administration is saying, hey, well, we'll just give them a, a court date for their immigration status. And they're going to show up, right? No, absolutely yeah, not. You know, It's an honor system. It's crazy. And there's no address. You can't track these people down after no. that. There's no, like, if I get a warrant, well, it's got my address on it. They know where to come get me. Mm -hmm. But no, not in the case of, of these illegals that they're shipping all over the country. They don't even know where they're going. They're just shipping them to a city and just hoping that, well, if they have a crime, if they have a record, eh, maybe we'll catch them again. And it is rare for Border Patrol to do an internal roundup of illegal immigrants inside America. It's far more common for mm -hmm. city cops, such as in Austin, to do a warrant roundup for parking tickets than it is for Border Patrol to go out and say, hey, we need, we're looking for this illegal alien. He never showed up for his court date. And you can't do this in any other country in the world. No. You just can't walk in, be given a bus ticket to wherever you want to go, be given food, be given shelter, be given clothing. That doesn't happen anywhere else in this, in, in this entire world. It doesn't happen. It's, it's incredible that they're acting like we're bad because we want to say no to it. You know, the Obama administration is saying, oh, how do you not want to help these people? It's not about that. It's about that this isn't allowed anywhere, and it's because it leads to a total degeneration of all laws. Yeah, and what's even more incredible is that Mexico, back in 2011, eased their immigration laws to allow people from Guatemala to enter the jungle borders of southern Mexico. Because Mexico said, well, we'll just let the United States handle the situation because they're going to go to El Norte anyway. They're not going to go to, they're not going to stay in Mexico. Right, because Mexico's failed and people are getting killed yeah. over the drug war. Yeah, they just were like, well, let's just let the U.S. deal with it. So now we're seeing little kids getting their arms and legs cut off because they're joining, they're jumping on these uh, so-called death trains, which is little freight trains, to make the perilous 1,000, 1,500 mile journey up north. Yeah, if, if, if people don't know this, every stop, every time the train stops, uh, drugs, uh, get, drug uh, gangs, just regular gangs get on and say, look, pay me your cut, pay me $100, mm -hmm. or we're going to kill you, or we're going to throw you off the train. Yeah. And it happens all the time, and it's just disgusting. It's disgusting for the, the poor kids that have to go through this. I'm sorry that their their country's gone. Their country, you know, the Central America, Mexico, it's gone. They've totally collapsed. It's not our fault that this happened. We don't have to take care of these people. Well, it is the fault of the CIA for making the Latin America, South America, Central America as bad as it is. Oh, that's true. So You got that right. They put in their own dictators. They, they give them loans. The World Bank will mm -hmm. give them loans that they can't pay back. Mm -hmm. And then they want to come in and take everything over. And all this is done through a puppet head that they do put in. Yeah, they, But it's not the fault of the American people. No, absolutely not. But it is fault of the American government to an extent. But the American government is going to use it to its advantage by with this de facto amnesty that the Obama administration is putting forth with selective enforcement of immigration laws and telling the Border Patrol to stand down. Hey, don't go after these criminals. Don't go after illegal aliens. Don't go after drug traffickers. And they're going to get teens that are 16, 17 years old, bring them in, give them free stuff, give them literature that says, hey, mm -hmm. you guys got to vote down guns. Guns were bad in your country too. See, what, see all the violence that happened in your country because of guns? Mm -hmm. And so then they're going to vote to take our guns. They're going to vote for more welfare. And the system that we have that's already crumbling is just going to implode into nothingness. Yeah, it was a Gallup poll that came out recently that said that illegal aliens are eight times more likely to identify with Democrats than Republicans. Now, why do you think that is? Yeah, because that's where they came from. Mm -hmm. uh, it's totally, totally ridiculous and disgusting. Now, tell me about this. Yesterday, you guys called us and you got pulled over twice by two different, uh, I think one was a state trooper and one was a, a city police officer. Mm -hmm. So they have time to come pull you guys over for being journalists, but they're not going after the illegals. It's amazing. Or they're not even going after the border patrol for letting the illegals come in. I mean, how come nobody gets arrested, but reporters get harassed continuously? 
Well, we started out in Brownsville, Texas, and we drove about 50, 60 miles up to Highway 281, which hugs the Mexican border. It's a very dangerous area. One of the troopers that stopped us even said that there's a lot of kidnappings and other violent crime going on. But the whole, for the entire hour, that about the hour that we drove, we only saw one Border Patrol agent. And he was just par pulled over on the side of the shoulder of the highway. Probably eating his lunch. Yeah, or making a phone call. Yeah. Not. It wasn't like we saw him out in the Badlands where we went. So, we, but we did see probably every several hundred yards, we started seeing state troopers continuously. So... The state, the state of Texas and the city governments and the counties are having to use their resources yeah. to mm -hmm. seal the border yeah. in, in effect, but what, there's just not enough people. Mm -hmm. There was an article that came out um, in 2011. They said they need 500,000 troops. Uh, customs, uh, the customs office said that we're going to need 500,000 troops to seal the border. Mm -hmm. And there's no way there's enough there right now no. at all. And Border Patrol's not doing anything. Border Patrol's bringing them in. Now, there are really good agents in Border Patrol that are doing, trying to do their best and they're trying to do their jobs, but they're they're being stonewalled by Border Patrol management to lay off, to not quit going after these people. But the Border Patrol management's getting their policies from upstairs, mm -hmm. or closer to the White House. So it's it's very uh, critical to point that out, so we don't throw all Border Patrol agents under the bus. There really are some that are doing their trying their best to do their jobs, but unfortunately, a lot of them are now looking for new jobs. Well, and, and it's always like this. The low-level guys are always doing their job. They're doing what they're supposed to, and they're hamstrung by different you know, policies or procedures or uh, institutionalized thinking that comes in from the top. And it's just really, it's really scary what's going on down there. And, and this only started this year, and we're already up to 50,000 uh, just children coming in. I think we're, we're even big on that. It's 90,000 now. It's 90,000. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just ridiculous. It's barely halfway through the year mm -hmm. at this point. I do understand why people want to come here. This is the greatest country in the world, even though we're going downhill fast. We developed a system where people could, through hard work, through dedication, through honesty, make money. And it's sad that we've, we've left all that behind to giant corporations who just use us as slave labor, essentially. Yeah. And it's important to realize the federal government really doesn't care that much about these people. They're no. using them for as a voting base. Right. They're using them to stay in power. It's all about the government. It's not about the people. Yeah, and it's, it's just disgusting. You have people like Jay Johnson who run from reporters who just have questions. Like, this is supposed to be the head of Homeland Security, mm -hmm. and he's treating reporters. They detained our reporters for hours. They erased their footage. They're being treated as terrorists. It's totally criminal the way these people are acting, yet we're treated as we're criminals. Kit, thanks a lot for going down on the border. Thank really you. appreciate it. This is a war that we're fighting where the only winners are going to be a bloated federal government. They're going to get voted in more power. They're going to get voted more taxes. And they're going to take your guns away, and they're going to take your rights away. And it all starts at the border. We have to have our border closed and allow for a normal progression of immigrants coming in. Because, yes, this is the greatest country in the world, and it's a shame that we can't let everybody in all at once. But we can't. It's just our society will, it will implode. There's, uh, there's counties down there that have spent all their yearly budget already just on trying to house the immigrants that are coming in. It's a total mismanagement of any kind of border that we have down there in Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and in California. And uh, all I can say is, if you're out there watching this on YouTube, please become a member of PrisonPlanet.tv. Your membership allows you to share your username and password with up to 10 other people. And you can share this information out there. You can get the word out that it's not a border crisis. This is a planned false flag attack on our border right now to bring in just a wave of people who have nothing else to do but look for a free handout. And we can't operate like that as a country. No country can operate like that. And with that, we'll see you tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central. It's the InfoWars Nightly News. Celebrate the spirit of freedom and liberty upon which our nation was founded at InfoWarsShop.com. Molon Lave is ancient Greek for come and take it. This popular design combines both classic Greek Spartan imagery with modern M16 assault rifles. Now available in women's tees and proudly made in the USA. And now you can protect yourself from corrupt cops with the InfoWars dash cam. It's your car's black box 
that records all that the driver sees and hears. And introducing the Block It Pocket. It renders your phone undetectable while protecting your private data and your health. 